Y'all know what time it is, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5 Real. I'm your guy, Ninja Kill Center 4, and we're gonna get back in the mix by starting off by hanging out with On. Um, I'm gonna be real with you, I don't even remember what happened in the last part. I just got back in town like a few days ago. You know, the, the little trip that we had was cool and all. But, uh, did she just hit? Oh, did you? Uh, I'm not hanging out with you today, though. But yeah, we gotta go see On, though. So we gotta head to the Underground Mall. It's been a nice few days. The Olympics just ended today, actually, too. I've seen that Team USA sniped uh, the gold medal lead from China. They had the, the total medal lead for a minute, though. Uh, but for the longest time, they were like down like four medals, and they came back and they sniped the lead by one. So, man, we're going to hang out with Don today. I'm kind of disjointed right now. Um. So I talked to Shiho about what happened with Mika back at the photo shoot. And you know what she did? Laughed. She couldn't stop talking about how uh, tough she thought Mika sounded. Uh, honestly, and though, it was kind of refreshing. I'm not even mad anymore. I guess you really just need someone to laugh at you if you want to feel better. It seems that way. Uh -huh. I mean, they always say laughter's the best medicine, right? Uh, depends. Depends on the situation. I've seen the truth of that saying firsthand. But, anyway, even though I'm trying to strengthen my heart, she hosts a real strong one here. Hey. I went uh, to one of her rehab sessions the other day. She said she wanted me to be there. So I agreed without thinking much of it, but it ended up being pretty overwhelming. Hmm. Was she working hard? Yeah. Good song, by the way. She was dripping with sweat, teeth clenched. She was clearly in a lot of pain. Apparently, she can't even move her feet. She said it feels like her legs are filled with sand. But she dragged me, or dragged them along, legs swollen with blood. I wanted to just make her stop. By the time it was all over, she was in tears. It was really tough on her. She said she wanted to give up. And that's why she asked me to come, to keep her motivated. The whole time she was complaining about things in a way she normally never would. But even with that, she finished her session. I... I don't know why I'm crying. I didn't have to go through that. Is it because I'm weak? It's because you're kind. You're wrong. You know, even through all that pain, I thought Shiho was so cool, beautiful even. Despite all her complaining, she still tried incredibly hard. Strength is more than just not getting phased, it's the power to fight through adversity. So I was thinking, and um, what could I do to help Shiho? Show her your own strength. My strength? Yeah, I'll do that. I'm gonna give it, um, uh, give it my all. You know, Ren, being with you really helps me see things clearly. What I should do, the true meaning of strength. Well, thank you for that. Well, that's nice. Apologize if I'm giving too many, uh, too much stuff. Order. I'm trying to actually get to the, um, you know, the change of heart stuff in this part also, because I mean, it's close. It's two days away. It's not too much that we gotta do, especially tomorrow in the in game, so. My nose is all runny. You got any paper towels? What are you looking at me uh, like that for? Pretty girls get runny noses too, you know? Bye. Well, see you around. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's me. Uh, thanks for earlier. I feel better now that I got to talk to you about everything. I'm gonna try my best to help Shio out in my own way. Maybe our relationship will never be exactly the way it was before, but now that I saw her crying, I know I'll find something I can do for her. I'll cheer you on. Thanks. <laughs> I can't let her leave me behind. Watch me. One day, I'll be cool and strong just like Shio. <sighs> 
I feel great now that I got everything off my chest. You're such a great listener, Ren. I mean, I don't talk like that, so yeah. <laughs> Hope I can keep counting on you for that. Okay, bye. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here we are. Oh, crossword. This is the Sunday, by the way, before uh, the Monday that this is supposed to go up. So, but let's do some crosswords real quick. We're actually supposed to hang out with. Um... Oh, I know exactly what we gotta do tonight. Okay, label for an unparalleled artiste. Okay, so the answer to this is, uh, is actually this. And we're gonna leave it alone. You probably know what the word is. What's this right here? A rough drawing? That is a sketch. Um. Ooh. Also, from this Sunday to next Sunday, I'm supposed to be doing, like, this little, uh, this bet. So I'm gonna be, like, a vegetarian for this week. Which, I mean, that... To anyone who doesn't know me, that's, you know, crazy. But, like, Dutch Painter? Um. Dutch Painter? Dutch painter? I don't I don't know too many Dutch painters. A Dutch painter? Um uh Oh Uh oh, I uh, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I really do not know who the hell this, this, this Dutch painter is. We're gonna cheat. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna cheat. I'm making myself look bad. Right, okay, I see what it is. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. I'm gonna be real with y'all. So the answer is Rembrandt. Um,. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't know who the fuck that is. I, I real life don't know who the hell that is. Um, but I know the answer here is master. So, okay, y'all can look at that right there. Here's talking about Picasso. Right, I see. Nice. Nice. All right. Well, we gotta talk to uh, our maid tonight. Yo. Mm-hmm. Hi. Uh, like I told you, this is the most important uh confidant to finish as early as you can. Hey. Let's call her over. What? Mm -hmm. But yeah, anybody who doesn't know me as I was mentioned earlier. I eat a lot of I, I have a very carnivorous diet, let's say that. I was gonna say something, but I was gonna say, oh pause on all that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you know, I, mean, I still eat like a lot of fruits and vegetables and stuff like that and grains and whatnot, but like mostly, you know, chicken, beef, pork, stuff like that. Yeah, that's mostly what I go for. So from Sunday to Sunday, I'll be doing that. Um, anyways, well, did you enjoy the maid's cooking and together with the maid services I, pro I provided today, the high end cup noodles really do make a difference, don't they? Uh, yeah, they do. I thought you would agree, Master. They are pretty complicated, though. It says to drain the hot water once and leave the sauce packet on the lid so it gets warm. Don't request me if you're going to complain. Besides, I thought I warned you already. Why would you request me again? Uh, so I could slack off in class! Yeah! I was like, oh, what? Hmm, are you sure that's really the reason? No, and it's not because you fell out that maid outfit pretty well and I can... Never mind. Well, I guess I'm in no position to complain since I'm making money from it. Ugh. Oh, I'm so tired. We had a faculty meeting just the other day. Why do they have to last so long? Jeez. Thanks to the Phantom Thieves, the students have been really restless lately. The teachers can't agree on what to do about them or the Phantom Thieves. I wish they talked more about our bonus instead. Why do I even cut the teacher's salaries? I'm so sick of it. Uh. 
I'm gonna be real with you. Oh, yeah, I think yeah, I'll crush you more often. Sure. Really? I'll continue to serve with all my might, Master. Uh, I'm gonna be in trouble if I don't start. Uh, if I don't pick up more shifts. I'm just gonna make a Smash joke just now. Not like Smash Bros. or or fucking, but you know, like all might. Hello? What? How much? I can't guess, but that's that's true. Sure. Yes, yes, I understand. Yes, it's my responsibility after all. What's up? Oh, did you hear about that? <laughs> yeah, I'm a little behind on my sister's medical bills. Uh. Don't overdo it. Uh, apparently it's some crazy incurable disease, so there's a lot of fees and extra charges. That's why it would really help if you requested me more. Oh, never mind. You're my student. I can't keep relying on you. Oh, what am I gonna do? Anyway, it's time for me to go. Good God, man. Hey, feel free to call me to do housework. It doesn't have to be through the maid service. Like, she... I, you could never really tell, I guess, from her teacher outfit, because, you know, it's supposed to be modest or whatever, but, like, golly. I live close by, so I can stop over whenever... Ooh, email. <laughs> stop over whenever you need me. Besides, I'm worried that you can't cook or do laundry because you don't have your parents. Oh, and uh, if your room suddenly can't... Uh, if her friends suddenly come over, I can always sit out the back way. Okay, so we unlocked another thing for her then. You know, it's funny because we can do our own laundry and we can cook like curry and shit too. So Joker can do that. But basically, yeah, she will brew coffee for us or do laundry for us. So yeah, her to confidence is all about saving you time. This isn't how it was supposed to go. In any case, I need to talk to my boss about giving me more shifts. Who are we hanging on with tomorrow, by the way? Oh, the same two people. Except it's just spend time. That's all it is. It's just spend time. Hello? Oh, Sis Master, thank you for using our service today. Wasn't my meal so delicious? Could you taste all my love I put into it? But you can't just eat cup noodles, right? You need balanced nutri nutrients. Maybe next time you can try some of my homemade cooking instead. Seriously though, you're still young, so you really need to eat properly. Thanks. You can thank me once you start making actual improvements. Uh, I mean, you're so very welcome. Um, I know this is kind of silly, but you really do need to eat healthy, okay? I mean, considering how much you spend on requests me, you can probably afford some good food. Well, I hope you'll request me again sometime. Bye-bye! <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny. And she's like, damn, how's this man got all this money like this or whatever? And she's basically just became like a mother. Oh, hello, Marky! It's been getting humid lately, huh? But it's times like these when you've just got to push through the funk. Don't let the weather get to you. Well, that was the plan anyway. When I got police officers asking what I was up to, do I really look that suspicious? Ah, yes. Oh, but speaking of looks, have any of you seen someone you thought was cute and immediately decided they must be nice too? That thought process is totally normal, if not always accurate. There's even a name for it. How about you? Any guesses on Mamiya Kun? What do you think the name for this phenomenon is? That's the halo effect. This is it. Right. Correct. I'm surprised you knew. You get distracted by superficial qualities, and your broader perception of someone can get biased. Once you get that far, it's hard to make totally objective judgments. Oh, you can say that again. Like, that person is quiet, so they must be scary. Stuff like that. Oh, he actually- oh, I'm the same shit. Yeah, of course. This is my specialty, my nigga. <laughs> of course I'm gonna know. The halo effect isn't all bad, but I recommend you give people the chance to define themselves instead of making snap judgments. That is a very- listen to this man, he is spitting nothing but facts right now. After all, it'd be a shame if your biases kept them, uh, kept you from noticing something truly wonderful about something, right? Yeah... That's something you learn the hard way. Plenty of terrible people look perfectly decent on the outside. But Lady Yon looks perfect, and she is perfect! <laughs> it 
A, 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 A. Oh, we're gonna get to do Madarame stuff today. Okay, we got a, a, I guess that's a downpour. Anyways, let's go see baby girl. On. Oh, I'm not here actually. Really? The brush is actually not available. It's supposed to be hanging out with her today. Shibuya hangout. Well, I was supposed to do something, but um. Let's go back to the classroom. I'm supposed to actually do something today. Funny and uh, funny enough, actually. This doesn't tell me who's available here. Oh, Ryuji's here. I could talk to Ryuji. Uh. When's the next time they, get, they want me to talk to Ryuji? It's gonna be a minute. You know what? You know what? We're gonna talk to Ryuji. Yeah, we're gonna talk to Ryuji. I'm supposed to have something happen today with Thon, but uh, I mean, I don't see her, so we're gonna talk to Ryuji instead. Hey, what's up, dog? What's up? Hey. Yeah, I understand. I believe this is his rank. Is this his rank 9? Right, let's go! Is that his rank 9 or 8? Okay, so Monja. Man, I'm stuffed. Pretty damn good, huh? This one's on me. Don't expect it to happen too often, though. Uh, wait. Ba da ba 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 da da ba da ba 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 ba. Hold on. Give me a second. Where's my wallet? Uh, whatever. Uh, uh, Ryuji. Uh, what? You, bro, you want to treat me out, and you're gonna not bring your wallet with you, dog? <laughs> Wait, what? Hey. Oh, by the way, I got a text from Takeishi. He said the track team's gonna try and ditch Yamauchi. They want to start practicing without him. They're trying to get their old coach back. Uh, two, the one from before Kamashita. Looks like they're finally walking their own path. Are you satisfied now? Hmm, yeah, I guess so. Actually. Oh, and uh, they asked me to come back to the team. Don't do it. Nah. Dude, I wasn't gonna. It felt kind of bad, but that's not where I belong now. When you first came to Shujin, people were talking so much shit about you. But you took it in stride. You just did whatever you thought was cool and didn't care what other people said about you. I think that's why people kind of get pulled towards you, man. Whether you decide to be here, that's where you belong. Or wherever you decide to be. You're right. Hey. God, you're so freaking cool. You know, back before I met you, I kept making excuses for why I couldn't fit in. It was always because of someone else. Kamashita, the track team, hell, I even blame my dad. I was such a freaking loser. But I've realized now, as long as I'm being myself, I always have somewhere I can fit in. It ain't really the same place as before, but it's damn good. I'm just glad I found it. I agree. 
Yeah, don't worry, man. There's a place here for you, too. Oh, there's a place here for you, too. <laughs> right next to me. Or maybe ahead. Something like that. Rank up. Protect. Essentially, uh, yeah. All right. He won't die for me, necessarily, like the other games, but hey. Yeah, I won't die, you know, if I'm about to get killed, though. With Ryuji out there. I ain't gonna stop training, though. I've still got a long way to go. <laughs> Someday, I'm gonna show you, uh... Speed so lightning fast, you're not even gonna be able to see me. Wait, but if you can't see me, am I really showing you anything? Eh, whatever. I think we've been talking too long. We're all out of Mondra. Hmm. Wanna try grilling some toothpicks? What? Like, you mean, like, putting some shit on the skewer like that? Or do you mean, like, actually grilling these motherfuckers? Oh, hello? Yo, get this! I just got a call from Nakoga and them uh, earlier telling me that the track team's officially gonna be restored. They're apparently keeping Yamuchi as their advisor for now, but it's cool. Sounds like they got him under control. Congratulations! You just won a $300 gift card to Walmart. No. <laughs> I feel like that's the, uh... I feel like I've said this before. Thanks, man. I gotta pay you back. If you were on the internet in the past, whatever, you would understand if you were on any type of website and you had, like, you know, your speakers up or whatever, and you heard the little ad thing pop up or whatever, which, I mean, don't click that. That's a virus, but, uh... <laughs> Thanks, man. I gotta pay you back. You can get some ramen. On me. And then, let's top it off with some seafood soup. A toast to the success of the new track team. But, uh, yeah. We can let the track team handle the rest of their problems. They gotta do the running from now on. Huh. I'm not gonna let my guard down. I ain't about to lose to them. Okay, I'm gonna go uh, for another run. Keep on bonking. My man is really trying to make that happen. He's treating that shit like fetch. You know what, Rigi? Oh, I actually hope it happens. Ah, you're back. Mm -hmm. The exhibition ends tomorrow. Matarami must have had his, his change of heart by now, right? I'm sure it'll be fine. So far, nobody's come charging us with anything, yeah? But wouldn't he wait to press charges until after the exhibition? What will we do if someone contacts us about it tomorrow? Try asking Yusuke. He's still staying with Madarami, right? Oh, that's right. Where is Yusuke? I wonder if he'll be, uh, if he'll be okay with Madarami. Sorry, I'm late to contact you all. It seems something will certainly be happening tomorrow. Madarami is on the phone as we speak. Hello. Likely the media. I haven't heard anything in this conversation about pressing charges. Guess we just gotta wait then. Let us meet in Shibuya tomorrow. Okay, see you then. The exhibition is finally ending tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm sure things will work out fine this time too. All right, uh, we're gonna call over our maid. Yeah, we just gotta spend time, that's all. Hey. Call her over! Thank you so much! Sorry, I was just looking at some stuff, whatever. Hey. I want to provide more services for you. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, I was looking at something else just now. Oh, please, 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 please. Wait a minute, hold on. Do, 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 do. Okay, so this is actually just supposed to be a hangout, so I guess I'm uh ahead of the curve. <laughs> but uh listen, uh that would be great. I'm really good at giving massages, meow. Oh oh what the fuck did I read that shit out? <clears throat> I'll massage you anywhere you'd like. 
All right, don't make that face when you do that, whatever. But I mean, shit. Hey, if you offering, shit, I ain't want to turn that down. Well, how was that? Hmm. <sighs> the thing is, I talked to my boss about picking up more shifts, but he said that he prioritizes younger women. You're not that that old. I'm pretty sure you're at at the oldest. You're in your like early thirties. At the oldest, they're not older than that. How, how old are you? Uh, don't ever say that to a woman. Seriously, he didn't have to say that right to my face. I mean, age has nothing to do with cleaning a room. Yeah, you're right. And I look damn good for my age if I say so myself. You goddamn right you do. Um, <clears throat> The girls in my neighborhood always tell me I'm pretty. And the latchkey kid who lives next door always asks me to tie up her hair. The latchkey kid? What the fuck does that mean? Hold on. Oh, hang, hang on one second. What the fuck does that mean? A child who is at home without adult supervision for some part of the day. Especially after school until a parent returns from work. Well, you learn something new every day. I did not know what the fuck a latchkey kid was until right now. But we I know now. Uh, if you didn't know, congratulations. You know now, too. I'm not sure if catchphrases being developed is something that happens naturally or not. What I <laughs> that seems to be something uh, uh like I'm I'm starting to develop you know some isms and stuff like that. That's one of them. The you learn something new every day. Cause I feel like I've said that quite a few times. Anyways, thanks to that I'm an expert with these pigtails now. See, so I'm damn good for. Her. Wait, don't tell me I'm the only one who thinks this way. Master. Thinks this way, but what? Master, would you please give me your honest opinion? I look pretty good as a maid, don't I? You need to love yourself because self-love is the best love and your love is the best drug. Huh? I don't really feel like I'm worth being loved. Uh-oh. You see, I've been in this situation before, man. Oh, I've been in this situation before a few times. I like the fact that she said that with a big ass smile on her face too. But you're right. You go out of your way to request me and all I do is sit here and vent to you. What the heck am I saying? You're my student. My double life as both a teacher and a maid is so exhausting. Maybe I let my guard down because you know both sides of me. The more I come here, the more I feel like I can relax. As a maid, I'm supposed to help my master relax, but instead I'm the one who's Sorry. being helped. Sorry, I'm such a terrible maid. Damn. All right. Uh, I have to so... confess something. I lied about the reason why I need to make more money. I don't have a sick sister. All that stuff was about the fees and char all that stuff about fees and charges was a lie too. I already knew that. I can't get requested unless I make up those types of stories. See? You understand now, right? Nothing good will come from involving yourself with a terrible person like me. It's a good lesson learned. <sighs> Let's just put an end to this. <sighs> Thank you for using our service. That was a damn good delivery of that line, if I do say so myself. If I do say so myself. Oh. Oh, here we go. With that old geezer. It's time. Oh, is he crying? What a baby. I'm just kidding. I have committed crimes that are unbecoming of an artist. Plainly put, I uh, plagiarized work. All right, he's atoning for all of his extortion of children. I, I. Oh, this nigga going through it. 
like I know Kamashita, like he he did his time. He didn't go like I mean he was said he was gonna kill himself or whatever. But this nigga is going through. Look at this man, bro. He's like slapping a, a table and everything. Like like his tears are cascading down his cheeks right now. <laughs> He's crying way too much. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's crazy. This man really said, "What a bitch." That's so wild. And that was from the urgent apology conference by Matarame that took place just a moment ago. Mm. After reporting to the association, Matarame has agreed to the police's request to turn himself in. Yeah, plagiarism is grabbing work. He's not going to be gone for that long, though. I don't. Well, how many counts of plagiarism is he getting turned in for, though? What is the 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 statute for that? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Japan plagiarism. Laws. What is the uh, the punishment? What's the punishment for that? Well, in the U.S., I know it's yeah, okay. It's up to one year in jail or whatever. I don't know how it is in Japan, but if we're gonna go off. Of, if it's anything similar to the United States, then. However many accounts of plagiarism he's gonna confess to is, you know, like that. Wasn't he on TV the other day? Yeah, he was. On top of charges of abuse to his pupils, Matarame is under suspicion of claiming their works as his own. Some doubt the validity that his maiden work, Sayuri, was stolen, believing it was used for fraud. Yeah, yeah quite a, a lot, actually. Not, not just once. Large-scale criminal act has caused a great shock to the art world, and... Like, how many different copies of it do you have, have of the damn painting in that room? Like, it was like, it had to be like, at least from what we saw, it was probably way more than that in some other place. But in that room, in the shack or whatever, what do we see, like a good, like, 30 of them? That old man's done for. Uh, excuse me, I'm so sorry about that. After the conference, Matarame was taken to a police hospital for interrogation due to his age. Oh, damn. However, initial psych evaluations state that he is mentally sound and likely responsible for his actions. Well, there you go. There's no need to be nice to an old geezer like that. Wow, that, that man does not give a fuck about him. Why do he spill the beans himself? Doesn't that seem weird? Also, a group calling themselves the Phantom Thieves posted a dubious note at Matarame's exhibit. Dubious? The police will investigate their relation to this case, but for now, did not identify them as suspects. Phantom Thieves? Do these bandits have something to do with that old geezer's apology? Oh, I've heard of them before. They supposedly steal evil hearts. It's why the culprits apologize. Wait, what? Steal hearts? <laughs> That's impossible, though. But I feel like I saw something about that online, too. They sent out a calling card for real. You know what's funny about this is that, uh... Bro, some of the dumbest niggas on the planet are Persona NPCs, bro. Like, no, no wonder nobody gives a damn watcher. No wonder y'all don't even be having faces when I be walking through the streets or whatever. You see them, y'all have, like, masks and stuff on, but, like, you got those fucking blob-ass faces and shit, bro. Cause y'all, y'all stupid. Look, look, look at these people. Look, look at them. <laughs> oh, so it was like we're going to take your heart. Oh, that's impressive. If someone really did that. Oh, everybody's like, oh. <laughs> Remind me of, like some beefs and butthead shit, or whatever. You know, just in here, like, oh, cool. <laughs> Phantom thieves, huh? Well then, hello, pleasant boy, with the. That's a nice sweater vest you got there. Phantom thieves again. Hello, McCoy. I should really like that outfit on her. Do you guys see the news about Matarame? It's just like what happened with Kamoshida. And they mentioned the Phantom thieves. Man, this is starting to get interesting. If we do it right, we can change people's hearts. With this power, we might be able to do more than just getting back at society. It'll be a big deal. 
Is that a big bang burger bag that dude has right there? That's a big ass bag. What kind of meal did you get, bro? We might be able to get back. Be, wait, we might be able to uh, do more than just get back inside. That's what we're doing. Eh, I don't know. Man, you're so indifferent. Then again, doesn't that make him more trustworthy as our leader? You say it's fun. I mean, we're losing sight of our goal, right? As for me, I hope we just keep getting more and more famous. I mean, hey, that's what that's what Something you want. Like this happening twice is massive too. It's too great a coincidence to occur normally. Yeah, just don't lose your way. No kill a kill. If we continue doing this, we'll definitely be able to give courage to everyone who needs it. Oh. They want to quiet down a little. They just so happened to stop right by us, by the way. Do you know them? You moron. Those are attendance officers. Attendance officers? Hello there. May I speak with you for a moment? But wait, who the fuck are you, bro? Ah, uh, yes. How can we help you? Do not let her handle this. That monotonous acting of hers never fails to send a chill down my spine. I I just want to think that like when she was in the studio when they were talking with with, with Erica Harlicker, by the way, I just want to say like, all right, listen, Erica, ham it the fuck up. Don't don't even try. Just make a sound as hammy as you possibly can and she's just like okay bet how can we help you you know hit, hit all that what are you all doing here are you friends what D bro we're just chilling what we can't be i can't hang out with my homies on a sunday what do we look like mm hmm what did you say? I said, what do we look like, dog? Uh, <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> he didn't get much sleep last night. Well, all right. Just make sure you disperse before it gets too late, okay? There have been some odd happenings lately, and the news about that artist has caused quite the stir. Bro, are there not kids directly behind us that are, like, way older? I see a book bag on that nigga right there, bro. They look way like smaller than us. They probably got to be younger than us. I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're younger than us, you know, just because they're smaller. But they look it. We'll be careful. It's still light out. Man, those guys must have way too much time on their hands. That too. It is like broad daylight, dog. Hey, don't go making stuff up on the spot like that, okay? I totally panicked because of you. From now on, we'll need to be even more cautious than before. Look at us. Right after the second thieves incident, both prior victims are meeting up. Wait, you mean people might be listening to us? That's a possibility. It'll be fine. Look around, we're the only people worrying about it. I guess you're right. By the way, Yusuke, you able to get anything out of Matarame? Tomorrow before the press conference, I assume, right? Remember how he was talking about Bro, what the hell is that on the screen back there? What is that? No, like for real, for real, what is that? What is going on back there? Bro, somebody knows what the hell that is in the background. It is distracting the hell out of me. Well, I pressed him for answers, but he doesn't even understand what happened to him to begin with. It's not like he actually saw his desires get stolen, after all. It's rumored that he may be sent to prison. In that case, gaining information will be difficult. So, what are you gonna do now? That is a very good question because, like, I mean, you, you kind of lost your, uh. You kind of lost your, uh. You know. 
Guardian? I couldn't think of the word for a second. I'll be leaving that house. I can't draw in such a place anymore. That makes sense. Do you have somewhere to go? That's the very imp that's the pertinent question right there. The school dorms. Oh. I can stay there free of charge thanks to my fine art scholarship. Do you have a scholarship? A scholarship? Wait, you're that good? Although Takamaki-san's house would do as well. Ah. Wait, what? <laughs> Listen, I'm not gonna knock the hustle. I mean. You know, you could ask her to model for you whenever you wanted. Wow, Ryuji, you are, you are dick eaten. You moron! Then again, now that Yusuke will be living alone, it'll be easier for us to meet up whenever we want. For the time being, we should wait and see how this case plays out. <sighs> and it'll probably take some time finding a target as big as Madarame. Anyway, we should just act like normal students while we look for our next target, okay? I'm gonna let you guys know that the Algeru for today is a, is a charm one, too, so... We'll be entrusting that to you again, Ryuji. Alright, guess it's just more prep till then. Yusuke Kitagawa. Uh-oh. Hi, Makoto. And so we flash forward into the future. Uh, I guess it's not half a year now. So after Shiho Suzui, you did it again for someone you barely knew? You were sent away twice, almost reported to the police, and yet you still wanted to save him. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Moreover, you ended up in a museum instead of a castle this time. Uh, yes, ma'am. You're still going to maintain this rubbish about changing someone's heart by stealing their treasure? Absolutely. Take it how you will. Very well. The truth behind this tale of yours will be clear once your conspirators are in custody. Now then, tell me about this new member who joined your group. There's no point in being stubborn. It will only damage your position. The identity of Madarame's pupil can be easily discovered with a little investigation. Go right ahead. So you won't sell out your accomplice? Hell no. <sighs> Fine. There's still much more that I want to hear. It was around this time that the Phantom Thieves began to truly gain popularity. Lies flooded the internet. Things like the Phantom Thieves saved me too, or I got a calling card. For heaven's sake, those lies made the collection of intel take almost ten times longer. Clout demons! Now your next target was this man. It, is that the nigga from home movies, bro? The, the, the gym teacher nigga? Junya Kaneshiro. Oh. I mean, he looks like he, like he came right out of home movies. Even the police had been struggling to apprehend him. So, exactly how did you take down such a well-guarded criminal? Tell me. Shout out to Adult Swim. Well, it we, looks like we are on our way to the next arc. The suspect has repeatedly testified that he does not have any recollection of his actions. A full psychiatric evaluation will be performed to further investigate the crime's details and motives. First Kamoshida at Shujin Academy, and now Matarame. I found a number of points of commonality between the two. Both, for example, were sent a calling card before their unforeseen changes of heart. I see. But isn't tying their cases to the series of psychotic breakdowns jumping to conclusions? Furthermore, the police will frown upon you stepping into this. Now isn't the time to be worrying about things like jurisdiction and honor. We need to dig deeper and find a correlation among the incidents these past two, three years. <sighs> their 
Very well, I leave it to you. However, you must not let this interfere with your regular duties. Thank you, sir. That damn woman just had to stick her nose into this. And I understand that these abnormal incidents have caused some anxiety throughout our country. Mm. This situation must be approached with the utmost seriousness. Something about bald people, bro. I don't know what it is in this game. It's something about if you are bald, I just don't trust you. I shall continue to put forth great effort so that every citizen can live with peace of mind. Not only are there these phantom thieves to worry about, but if that is exposed... <sighs> yeah, this bald nigga, we got that bald nigga. The principal's a bald nigga. Oh, hello. What? Looks like Yusuke's texting me. I think you're getting him too. You have my gratitude. What are you so polite for all of a sudden? I truly am thankful to you for making me come to my senses. Yeah, you're already exaggerating. I most certainly am not. I must express my gratitude earnestly. Get one of us now, man. We'll be counting on you, okay? Of course. And if anything comes up, we won't hesitate to lend a hand. Thank you. Well then, see you. <laughs> he didn't have to go through all that trouble just to thank us. He's such an honest guy. Anyways, that went well for our first job, huh? It was a huge success. So, that said, you got time for this? Yeah. You know. Well, the thing is, I got some free tickets to a darts lounge from this guy I know. But I totally forgot when they, that they expired today, so you want to go right now? Riju, didn't we just finish talking about how we need to be on guard? Come on, it's just darts. Don't you want to play two Morgana? I mean, if we can actually throw anything. If you're just going to play, then I guess it shouldn't be a problem. Alright, let's head to the darts lounge. Or whatever it is. Lead the way, Ryuji. Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm on it. Alright, the place is in Kichijoji. So we just gotta train the, uh, take the train first. Kichijoji? Oh. What, for real? Oh, there it is again. There's a bunch of different shops right outside the station there. It's just one step away from Shibuya, so let's head for the Inogami line first. This is new to the game, by the way. Oh, uh, Inogami line. Inogami line. Inogami line. Inogami line. No, Inogami line, here we go. Hey. All right, let's go. Yeah, Kichijoji's new to, the, to this version of the game. This city was not in this uh, in the uh, vanilla persona. Five. I don't know why I started talking like this. Oops. That's just uh, him talking about the fair. We already know this, Morgana. We already know this. Those two. What? Morgana? So this is Kichi Joji, huh? You can tell it's nothing like Shibuya, just from the atmosphere alone. Well, yeah, looks like there's a lot of shops here that you can't find in Shibuya. Not that I'd really know. Seems interesting. What? Ahn's not here because she's busy, but I bet it'd be fun to come here with some more people. I think the Dark Sun just one block up from the main street. But since we're here, I won't say no to checking out a bunch of the other stops on the way. Or shops on the way. Well, here we are in Kichijoji. Um, um. My, what a coincidence. Yeah, all right. Do not talk to the receptionist at the... Oh. Apparently I'm not supposed to talk to the, to the receptionist. What the? Oh my. There's a monk right here. Anyway, let's go find the darts lounge. I Which I believe... Oh. Ah, this is the road. Hey. The name of that shop matches what's on the free tickets. 
It says penguin sniper, huh? Why'd you, uh, why'd you give one of those doofy birds a gun? For real? It's not meant to be taken literally. Still, if you're coming up with a good name, well, whatever. Let's check it out. Whoa. Whoa. Here's the place. Oh man, I'm getting kind of nervous. Huh, you're such a child. Okay, Iris. Try not to embarrass the rest of us, would you? You don't gotta tell me that. So what's the plan? You wanna head inside? Uh, it'll be daytime, so sure, let's go. Alright, bull! That's a new high score! Fuck yeah. Uh, bull? The center of the target's called the bullseye. If you land a dart there, it's called the bull. Shit. I know because I looked up the rules online last night. Oh, well, at least you're honest. Anyway, this game's called Zero One. You win by getting your score all the way down to zero points before the other player. Oh, so you're not trying to get a high score, but get rid of your score? That's pretty different. Hmm. We both start with the same score. Then you lose points based on the number on the board where your dart lands. And you can only win if you get your score down to zero exactly. You can't even be off by a single point. How's that sound? Pretty sick, right? So you have to be able to calculate your score properly while making sure you hit the right numbers on the board. Uh, yeah, pretty much. This game seems like it takes a lot of concentration. <laughs> One point. Come on, you have to straighten your arm out more and... Hey Ryuji, what's up? Ah, I was just reading this flyer. It says, darts is a party when you play in pairs. You team up with someone and alternate throwers when it's your turn. You still use the same rules I told you though. Hey, what do you say we give it a try? Yeah, I'm down. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. All right, let's get it, bro. Whoa, a bull right off the bat? Man, talk about an exciting opening. Here goes. Don't underestimate an ex-athlete. You got this. Hell yeah, triple 20. Whoa, he hit such a tiny spot. Quite impressive, especially for you, Ryuji. Oh, that's crazy. High five. We're almost down to zero points. Let's really focus for this last round. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Zero points right on the dot. Oh, ain't we badass? That's no easy feat. You really do have something special going on. <laughs> Man, this is so fun. When you're on the line, the pressure's insane. But it makes you want to do your best for your partner. Hell yeah. And we got a baton pass rank up. The higher your baton pass rank, the more powerful the effects will be when performing a baton pass. So increase damage, heal HP after baton pass, and you can recover SP after one for rank three. Based on the looks on your faces, I'm guessing both of you got something out of this game. Hell yeah. Even if it is just a game, it can be some kind of training, depending on how you play. Someone's dedicated. <laughs> well, I do always have the Phantom Thieves on the brain. So how exactly, because the cat can do with this too. Together here. Uh, oh, let's invite everybody next time. Yeah, the cat can play the game too. I don't understand how he can throw a dart, but... Man... All this just from me asking you to meet me here? This is like, uh, you know, one of those strikes of good luck. Yeah. Stroke of good luck. Why would it be a strike? Who would protest having good luck? Ooh, what's that? You know, billiards? Oh, yeah, they have pool here, too. Hmm. This game could be useful, too, depending on how we look at it. Yeah, it's already pretty late, though. We can come back and play it later. Ah, and don't forget, 
We got a couple free tickets to play today, but next time you'll have to pay up. That is true. But it was super fun, right? Oh, I really want to play again sometime. Well, we should head home for the day. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, well, we're back home now. Hey. If I remember correctly, you transferred lines to Shibuya, right? Our customers say it's gotten pretty dangerous over there. Don't let yourself be a target, got it? Mm. Mm, that said, you still want to check out Kichijoji at night, don't you? Don't worry, Ren. Worst comes to worst, I've got your back. <laughs> Delicious smell that bears in your Oh, text messages. Picked up some interesting info you might want to hear. Apparently, there's this old man who's been causing problems in Kichijoji. Well, what'd you look at that? If you make one wrong move or say the wrong thing, he flies into rage and it turns to a fight. Even if you don't hit him, he lies and says you did and then sues for damages. So he's like a con artist, not like a conflict artist. That's ridiculous. I agree. We can't let this guy go unchecked. Only problem is knowing that he's an old troublemaker isn't enough to get us a name. But I did hear that he hangs out in Kichijoji's Harmony Alley a lot. Harmony Alley? Bet. Let's go. We can do that right now, actually, before this part ends. Okay, there's the velvet room door right there. So we gotta go find Harmony Alley. I think this is Harmony Alley? Anson shop. Um, that's a music store. Uh, where the hell is Harmony Alley? You know, I might have to just end this bar because I don't know where the fuck Harmony Alley is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that old man has come here yet. No wonder I'm drinking in peace. I don't like bad mouth of my customers, but he makes so much trouble. Hey, this ain't no place for a youngin' like you. You bet you're looking for something around here? Elder Trevor Maker? Ooh, boy, so even kids like you know about him. That old man's out of control. He takes drinks from strangers. He starts fights. And then when he gets in trouble, he costs the ruckus and tries to mooch money off people. What's creepy is, the more trouble he gets, the wider his smile gets. You got a name? Oh yeah, the old man shouts, always shouting his name over and over. Heiji Ono, right? Yep, that's his name. Okay. All right, we get the name of our target. But you know, I can't be that hard on him. He's around my dad's age. When he complains about his joints hurting on rainy days, I can't help but feel bad for the old man. Wish he didn't hang around here, but stay warm with his family instead. You might sound awfully sympathetic, but I know you really think he's a pain in the ass. Oh yeah, I'm not denying that. His joints hurt on rainy days? Okay, Poor guy. Alright, well we got the info that we need on him now. I'm gonna end this part here though, but end the next one, because I know we need this is what we need to do. We're gonna head to Station Square, because we gotta hang out with our boy, Yoshida! So... It's actually a pretty long part, too, and I've made it before my hour limit, by the way. So, I would like to thank everybody for watching this part, too, my brothers and sisters and everybody else in between. I will catch y'all in the next one. Deuces.